I'm Nick Helmet coming to the stage. He performs all over town. He's a seasoned performer. I want you guys to put your hands together for Mr. Sam Cole. I just noticed I gave myself an applause. <laughs> so I'm living with my parents, and they're always getting on my ass that I don't pay rent. You know, but you know what? It's their fault. I'm not making any money. I mean, hey, they're the ones who said I couldn't build a meth lab in the basement. Ridiculous. <laughs> they have all these other crazy rules. You know, like I'm not allowed to uh, jack off in the dining room. <laughs> Pulling that the hard way. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I'm also not allowed to uh, fondle the cat. Uh, you know, actually, that's the cat's rule. <laughs> so, yeah, living at home, my parents are telling me, <laughs> thank you, sir. So, I'm living at home. My parents are telling me it's time to move on and take the next step, which for me, I think, is probably going to be homelessness. <laughs> The one thing I'm worried about being homeless, how you gonna get laid? I mean, you know, it's hard enough to get laid when you're not homeless, <laughs> let alone when you smell like this. <laughs> well, speaking of dating, you know, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> but as far as dating, you know, girls always look for three qualities: tall, rich, and handsome. All right, I'm tall to a little person. <laughs> I'm rich, to a bum, yeah. I'm handsome, when a girl's on her fourth margarita. So I am tall, rich, and handsome, as long as I'm dating a drunk, homeless dwarf. It's one thing that makes it tough. I have problems with social skills, you know? They call it Asperger's. So, you know, it's, it's hard for me to, you know, uh, relate to people and, and make eye contact, even remember their name. So girls tell me I'm, I'm kind of weird. Yeah, but okay, give me a break. Even Rain Man's got to get late. <laughs> Rain Man, oh yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I was, uh, oh yeah, so I was talking about how I have trouble making eye contact. And, um, you know, so a lot of times I'll be talking to a girl, and she doesn't even know that I'm talking to her, you know? It, it's like, it, and then it's like talking to Robert De Niro, kind of. She's like, you talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> so, you know, I did manage to date one girl. You know, she was very hot, you know, uh, always up for sex, very experienced, you know, it was great. The only thing I didn't like about her was her price. <laughs> You know how guys always talk about it, how it's hard to get laid? But, you know, usually that's straight guys. You know, I mean, if you're gay and you want to get laid, all you got to do is walk into a public men's room. You know? <laughs> hey, if you don't believe me, just ask the local congressman. <laughs> but speaking of, you know, gay, um, you know, a lot of people, they experiment in college. You know, you ask if they're gay, they say, oh, just once in college. But, you know, I don't think it works like that. You know, it's like... You can't be gay for a day. You know, it's like you can't be Korean for a day. <laughs> you know, so um, it's like at my college. A lot of the fraternities were like homophobic, but a lot of the hazing was kind of gay, you know? And, you know, like one time they, they roofied a dude. And when he passed out, they drew a dick on his face. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I'm just saying, there's a very thin line between drawing a dick on a guy's face and putting your dick on a guy's face. <laughs> Is that heterosexual to you? <laughs> Another thing these frat guys did was something called a jimmy tap. It's where they walk up, tap you right on the dick. Be like, hey, what's up, man? And then say, oh, just kidding, just kidding. I'm like, just kidding yourself that you're not gay? <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> but you know what just occurred to me? That I don't have any gay friends, you know? But, I, you know, I guess that makes sense because uh, I don't have that many friends. <laughs> but, you know, as far as, you know,
you know, as far as gay behavior, many women have different attitudes. Like, if a girl walks in on her boyfriend, you know, banging a dude, she's like, oh, that's it, get out, it's over. Now, if a guy walks in on his girlfriend <laughs> with a girl, this guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, if a guy who walks in on his girlfriend with a girl, you know, it, it, you know, she's like, oh, aren't you mad that I cheated on you? He's like, with a girl? That's not cheating. That's entertainment. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot.